Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we'll be talking about how you can use the power of large language model running within your machine locally uh, and using it for development and testing purpose. This is one of the questions that came to me while I was doing a conference here in Auckland, New Zealand. And one of the participants asked me that we don't really have so much of potential and power within our machine to run a large language model because every time while we try to run it, there is going to be a memory issue or it couldn't be able to handle any other request. So what exactly is the way that we can do it without spending any cost on that because if you're running the test on your local machine you know that you don't really have to spend any money for that because it's all going to run within your machine because the large language model itself is hosted within your machine if you're using olama or any other mean so how exactly is to get around the particular problem well guess what there is a way that you can actually do it we are going to use the same olama even this time but just that we are going to be using the olama cloud model this time again this model is going to be running on the uh, olama platform itself but they have claimed that it is going to be super secure or something like that and you don't really feel like you are going to be running within the cloud because the way that you can do it is going to be very very straightforward so if i go to go to the settings of the olama over here you can see that this is the hourly usage that i have got this is the weekly usage and you can see that i will never touch any uh, weekly usage beyond like 10 percentage for that matter even though i use a lot uh, of the cloud models as well and but i don't really exceed that, that particular plan over there so how do we actually uh, use this particular model it's very very simple in olama all you have to do is just go to the models over here in the olama and you see that there is an option called as cloud where these models which are tagged as cloud or the cloud models so you can use gpt oss model which has got even 120 billion parameter you can also use qn3 vision language model which has got even 235 billion parameter or even qn3 coder model which has got 280 billion parameter see that how many models we have got and this is going to keep on improving even the gemini 3 pro preview model is also available for you to try out and see how this is actually going to work and it was released just like yesterday during the time of recording which is quite amazing so if you wanted to do any one of these operation over here we can actually use the power of the olama for our testing and development purpose so you can see that this is the code that i have got over here which is building agents with the uh, rags tool support with the local large language model so if i want to run this particular code you can see that i am going to be actually using the local large language model which is the qn 2.5 model over here and i'm also doing quite a lot of things here i'm doing the embedding of the uh, data and also doing storing it in the vector data store and then i'm also doing the uh, calling of an agent and also a playwright test agent to do an ui automation and i'm doing quite a lot of different operation over here as you can see this is part of my udemy course which is available over here as you can see uh, we're just going to go to the fourth page. Uh, this is the course that you can see over here. Build and test AI agents, chatbot, racks, and local large language models. So this particular course, as you can see over here, has got around 2,000 enrollments. And you can see that these are the details that are available in this course already. And it is fully upgraded to Langchain version 1.0 as well. So that's why you can see all those bold symbol there, which means it's all fully upgraded. So this particular course actually uses everything running in the local large language model as well as on the cloud model. And that's exactly what I'm going to be showing over here. So if I'm going to run this particular code over here right now, so let's say I'm just going to clear all the output. Uh, and if I'm going to run them all, it is currently running the test on my uh, local large language model so it is going to invoke the uh, the tokenization as well as the vectorization and storing it in the database and also embedding everything is going to happen over here as you can see and now you can see that it is calling the agent uh, to perform the operation and you you can see that the time is going to take the particular operation is going to be quite heavy because even though i'm running mac m1 max machine within my uh, local system over here it is going to take quite a lot of time for sure it is going to take a long time to perform this operation but if you're going to be using a model which is running on the cloud it is going to be way faster and you don't really need any compute power for that matter so this is going to answer your question who are asking in the conference saying how exactly can we use the power of the large language model running locally and still harnessing the power without our machine having those power I know this is still not going to be running on your local machine. The prompt is the, the language model is still running on the cloud, but it 
feels like it is running within your machine and at the same time you are not going to be incurring any of the cost again if you talk about security or something it is going to be only applicable if you're going to be developing or building an application which is going to be deployed uh, on your enterprise grade servers and things of that nature well as that said i'm also going to quickly show you how you can use the cloud model within your local machine as well quickly so if you just go to any of the terminal over here you can see that while well, i do olama list over here it's going to show you the olama the qn3 quarter 480 billion parameter cloud prefix as well like sorry cloud suffix as well so this cloud suffix means that this particular model is a cloud enabled model you can actually download this from the uh, olama over here so if you're just going to go to the olama and go to the uh, models you see that we have got these models just go and choose any one of the model for example if i'm going to use any other model let's say the deep seek version 3.1 um, model over here so i'm going to go uh, copy the 671 billion parameter this things will never work within your machine forever because you know that this requires a lot of uh, gpu powers and things so this is not going to work for us so i'm going to just say olama run uh, deep seek uh, v3 670 billion parameter cloud and you see that it is still pulling it as a registry uh, to be used within your olama and that's it it is currently connected and i'm gonna say how are you doing if i'm gonna do that you see that it is just talking to the actual large language model running or hosted on the cloud for you over there and it's going to be pretty fast if you're going to do it within this particular uh, machine over here so if i want to use this particular model or maybe uh, any other model you can just use it let's say i'm going to use this particular list a recently downloaded model so i'm going to go copy that over here and i'm going to go to the code that i was executing i think it is executed oh yeah there we go you see that it took like 55 minutes to complete this particular operation which is huge to be honest but if you're going to run the same code via the cloud-based model which is this one and i'm going to clear all the output reset um, and i'm going to run them all so we'll see how that works so ideally because this is going to be running on the cloud model the the way it is going to work is going to be way faster if i'm not wrong so let's just wait for the execution to happen there we go it took only 13 seconds to complete opposed to one minute which was taking before and you see that it is just working fine as expected so this is how you can use the power of the large language model running on the cloud and you don't really have to spend a lot of money as well as i just told you because right now i just used like one time there and if i go to the settings you see that it's just 2.4 percentage and even if i'm going to use this multiple time it's never going to exceed ever for the time it has got but if you still want to use even further you can go for the billing option and you can upgrade it so that you get even more uh, usage and things but for now you can just gracefully use uh, all the uh, the the usage they have given us in the uh, olama which can be used for your testing and development purpose so that's it guys once again thank you so much for watching this video and i'm sure this is the way that you should go while you do the development and testing within your local machine at least not for the enterprise grade development but you can see that this is quite awesome to see how fast they are uh, while doing any operation see now this time it took only 9.4 seconds to complete this operation which is fabulous